Hi everyone, it's Dawn and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a handbag video. I know some of you really like my handbag videos and this video has been requested not just from my traditional subscribers who watch all of my videos and you know who you are or you watch most of my videos and you comment often and we go back and forth. I know you by name or abbreviation, whatever you have on your name and some of you do have like a little abbreviation where I don't know what your name is so sometimes I'll just say hi there you know because I don't know what to call you so if you ever if you are that person and you ever just want to put your name under your comment or if you don't want to that's fine too but sometimes I love knowing your name because I feel like we're, we develop a friendship, but either way, even with your initials, we develop a friendship because I know who you are. But some of you just come onto certain videos like handbag videos, and that's fine too. And some of you just come on to other videos, just whatever you feel like seeing. But I often get requests to share handbag videos. And one that I've been getting repeatedly lately has been my Dooney and Burke collection. And I keep saying I'm going to do it, and then I just never do and I'm going to do that today and I'm going to share with you how I store my handbags, how I clean these handbags and um, which ones I'm planning on keeping for the foreseeable future and which ones I might eventually sell. So let's just jump in. I'm going to share with you my Dooney and Burke collection. I'm going to share with you each bag and some of the features because I believe you can get all of these bags currently and since Black Friday sales are going on, I want to get this up soon because I know Dooney and Burke, the website has 30% off right now. Um, you can also find them. I don't know if Dooney and Burke and I Love Dooney are one in the same handbag um, websites, but I go to both of those and they might be the same and I just haven't figured it out. QVC, um, obviously Poshmark. So let's just jump in and get started. So I'm going to share one handbag that I desperately want in another color too. And I've had this one for a very long time. I didn't call it a permanent collection handbag and I still am not willing to say that because I am willing to part with it. But I've been carrying this during the summertime for like the past three or four summer. Um, so this is the Zip Zip Satchel. They still sell this bag. They do have it in kind of a newer style too, which I will link below. I'll zip this, I'll link the zip zip satchel and then I'll link like the newer style beneath it. But what I love about this bag, they call it the zip zip because it has um, two zippers like so that come all the way up. You don't have to keep them like this. You could just keep one all the way down and then pull the other one all the way down as well, which is sometimes what I do. So however you like to keep it zipped, but what I love about this bag is this is such a great bag for everyday use and for having in your car when you're like on a road trip or traveling for several hours and you, you have a book and things inside your bag that you might wanna to get to because it opens so wide and you can store so much in it. And I really do like the red interior in certain bags, but I do like them in some bags because you can find everything in your bag when it's up against this bright red interior. It does have this little kind of key thing in here. This does have a cross body strap that hooks on here in here and I'll show you the crossbody straps because they're the same for all the bags that I have. So I'll show that to you at the end. Um, but it's got lots of pockets. It's got like this nice pocket here. It's got a nice zipper pocket here. Whoops, it was open and I closed it. You could see in here how smooth these zippers are. I always keep all the paperwork with my bags because I do like to sell them and people like to know where I purchased them, what the lot number was, all that kind of stuff. So I always keep them. And then on this side, I have two, one's really large, my iPhone, 12 max will fit in this and then i've got a smaller one that i like to just keep maybe some hand sanitizer or a lipstick or something in so this is the bag it doesn't have any outside pockets um this bag is probably five or six years old it does have the feet i love the white up against the tan it goes with everything i wear in the summertime and i do want to get this in another color like maybe there's one um 
I think it's called Elephant, I believe. It's sort of like a grayish color and it's so pretty. I've been wanting it for years and just haven't taken the plunge. I don't have a bag in that color yet. I like how the handles slide down so they're not in your way when it's sitting down. And I also like that it has this, like the sides, so nothing slips out of the sides, but it does open nice and wide. Okay, the next bag is a beautiful bag. I don't think that Dooney and Burke currently sells this particular bag on their website. They do sell other bags that are more like updated because mine is like five years old. You might be able to find it on QVC, definitely on Poshmark, and maybe some department stores like Belk or Macy's might still carry this bag. And so this is what it looks like, and it is called the Logo Lock, and it is stuffed right now because I have been storing it in my closet, and I just hang it like on a hanger and I stuff it, and I'll, I'll show you later how I, what I put around it and all that. But I'm gonna take the stuffing out. This is like a thick, Pubbled leather bag, very, very thick, and it can be quite heavy if you're loading it up. And that's another reason why I don't carry this bag all the time, but I love the look of this bag. I think it's so pretty. And when I see a woman carrying this bag, because I do spot it around town, I always think it's so pretty. And I always think I need to get that bag out and carry it again. So it's my logo lock. And it also has the bright red interior. And look how big the mouth of this bag is. It just opens so large. Um, another thing that I'm not loving about the bag is that it has one strap like this, which is normal for a hobo style bag. But when it's on your shoulder, you know, it's hard to kind of get in it. So I always like plop it down on the counter at the store and then open it up where the cashier usually says, I love your bag. <laughs> so it, again, makes me not ever want to part with it. But as you can see, it opens really big. It has that zipper pocket that's really large that I told you about right here. It goes pretty um, wide across the back of the bag and it's about as deep, really, really deep to the bottom of the bag. It also has another pocket attached to that pocket that's a slip pocket. And this one you can just keep like, I don't know, it's like a little pouch, whatever, like lipstick, lip gloss, um, your face powder, things like that that you just wanna get quickly sometimes or hand sanitizer. Um, then you've got, this is where I keep my wallet and all the other stuff I keep in my bag. And then it's got, they always have this, which I never really use, but I know some of you really like this. And then it's got two slip pockets. And again, it's just like the other bag where one is large enough for my iPhone 12 Max and the other one's a little bit smaller. So although it's a hobo bag, it does have quite a bit of organization inside the bag. This is the other thing, the way it closes, you could just leave it like this. But, you know, it does have like a lock, not really a lock, but a clasp, and it does close nice and secure. So I would have no problem taking this down to the city, like to go see my daughter or riding the train. It's under the crook of my arm. It fits nicely over my coat. You know, I, when I wear my parka, it fits nicely and looks good. And the only problem though, is if I wanna get in it, I have to take it down and open it. And that, you know, that's not always super safe on the train. So um, but for everyday use, it's a great bag. It does have feet on the bottom. The leather is amazing, amazing amazing it smells good it feels good it's like that buttery thick pebbled leather let me bring it nice and close and this bag came with a little keychain and um, a pouch a really nice pouch that you could use as your wallet it even had like a slot in the back for like your ID or debit card like where it was clear um, one of my daughters walked off with it but it matches the bag exactly and so if you purchase this bag um, from like a department store if you're not getting it secondhand it should come with all those things so it's really nice this is a retired bag and I did purchase mine about three years ago, two years ago on Poshmark because I really wanted this bag. This is the only Dooney and Burke bag that in a very long time, if ever, that came with silver hardware. Everything else comes with gold hardware. And I will link the name of this bag. I wanna say it was the Kendra Satchel, but I might be wrong about that. So I will put the name down, but this is a retired bag. Um, feet on the bottom. I'll just briefly go over this one. I like this logo best. Like some of the bags have this logo. 
I like this one more. And I like the way the handles are. I like that it's got the little, um, you know, it's kind of cute and with jeans, it makes it a little more casual. Same thing, really great interior with all the same pockets that I told you about, red, so you can find everything. Um, this one does come with a nice crossbody strap that slips on the sides and two pockets on both sides. This one came with lots of different colors. Again, I have my tag and I got it brand new on either eBay or Poshmark a few years ago when I wanted it. I really liked when they had these little tassels on their bags and this one is navy blue. It looks black, but it's actually navy blue and it's beautiful. Okay, the next bag I have done an unboxing of and I'll be brief about this one too because I'll link the unboxing if you want more details. But this is the handle tote and this is a newer bag from Dooney and Burke. Um, and this bag is the larger of the two handle totes. It's nine inches and three quarters across the top. It's nine inches in about a half down and then it's about five inches in width across this way and there is another option for a size smaller and mine is black and tan and it has this nice zipper here and this is one with a lighter interior oh this is the keychain that came with the logo one that i showed you just before this one I have it in here, I'm not sure why. But again, my tags, it has my favorite type of logo and nothing in the back. The light interior that I told you about, but it makes it so easy. It's not black, so you can still find all your worldly possessions that you might carry with you. And it's got the large zipper across, nice and smooth. And it has the large open pocket here, just like all the others. And now on this side, rather than having the two pockets, it has one large pocket and this is pretty deep and it's just a pouch. So they did change that a little bit in the design of the bag. And this one does have the cross body strap on the bag because I do like to use this with the cross body strap. And then I really like just kind of carrying it on the crook of my arm or like a handheld. But since it isn't high enough to put on my shoulder. They do make a bag exactly like this that is a tote that has the higher handles, but this one has the crossbody, and I really like the style. I think it's really unique, and I think it's just a really beautiful bag, and I do get a lot of compliments on this bag. My newest Dooney & Burke bag is the only bag that I have in the most popular Dooney and Burke color, which is Brown Timaro. And I am not able to find any accessories that match to put inside like wallets and pouches and things like that because they're always on back order. So this color is, I believe, Dooney's most popular color, the Brown Timaro. They do have a lighter brown, but this is like the darker brown and I think it's just gorgeous and this is my shoulder bag. This is the pebble grain hobo. It does come in a smaller size so if you don't see on the website or wherever you're looking pebble grain hobo it'll say pebble grain small hobo which is a different bag than mine. It's smaller. It's exactly the same in every other way. It's just like a little bit small. And this one I did unbox for you where I gave you a very detailed overview of the bag so I'm going to be very brief. I love the thick handle. I love it with jeans. I love the drop so I can fit my parka in the summer, my sundress, you know, whatever I'm wearing, it fits perfectly. And it's nice and wide so it doesn't dig into my shoulder. It's not a super heavy leather bag. For some reason, this one's much heavier. The leather is much thicker. The quality on this bag is like second to none, but it's a heavy bag, even heavier than my Florentine bags. But this one, it's lighter, but it still has that nice pebbled, buttery, soft leather. Smells good, feels good. Um, feet on the bottom, but um, front pocket with a zipper. Doing amber quality all the way. This one zips closed. This one is a really great bag. It's just so organized. It, they've thought of everything. Um, you have your larger pouch, again, on one side rather than the too small. And then same exact as everything else, all my 
my paperwork and smooth zipper and then the pouch and it's pretty nice on the inside gives you lots of room and again this guy so that's everything no zipper on the back just on the front my favorite logo and now i'm going to share with you my florentine bags and one of my videos that just has been like in the past year since I made it has been like blowing up. I get views on it all the time and comments. And some of the comments from you are that you bought it secondhand and you're so pleased. So many of you have purchased this bag on secondhand sites and come on to tell me, and I'm so happy for you. Go ahead and read the comments under that video. I'll link it and you'll see how many satisfied secondhand customers there are. But this bag is a beauty and this bag is in my permanent collection. I'm gonna start with it zipped closed to show you. And this one is the Florentine Satchel. This comes, I think, in at one time, like five different sizes. I'm not even joking. Um, mine, I'm gonna link the other video I had. I'll link my bag. You can still get this bag. Um, I think it comes in a larger size than this one. Um, but this is like the second to largest. As you can see, it's a pretty decent sized satchel and it does have stuffing in it right now. I care for this so well, but you really don't need to. It can take a beating and the leather will just look better and better over time. And I get a lot of questions on how I care for this bag too. So once I show you my other Florentine bag, I will tell you how I care for it. So here's the feet on the bottom. And as you can see, this is an old bag. I've had it for a very long time and there's nothing on the bottom. If I get a scuff or something on it, a lot of times I can just rub it with my finger and the oils on my finger will rub that scuff right out. Um, so I do that really regularly and keep my bag looking really nice. But I've seen bags that people carry around and they don't do that and I still think it looks great. It has sort of like that Western feel, Joanna Gaines, like I'm wearing jeans and cowboy boots and look at my cute purse. <laughs> That's the vibe it has. Um, I do like the tassels on the side, on both sides, and it's suede on one side, green, and then you've got the natural. This is in the color natural, and it's got the two handles, and as you can see, I carry it by the handles, but they, um, this bag probably has all over patinaed since I got it. It was probably much lighter, in fact, I know it was, but it's now this really pretty brown and I'm just looking forward to seeing it age. I don't wanna get rid of it. I just wanna love on this bag as long as I can. I feel like this is one of the bags I can give to my daughter someday and be like, look at this bag. I've had it forever and doesn't it look beautiful. Um, and it does have a really nice crossbody strap on it. And I always keep the crossbody strap. Even though this is a Florentine leather bag, even when it's loaded up, it for some reason doesn't feel super heavy, but I will tell you that on its own with nothing in it, it's already two pounds. So keep that in mind. If you are going to the museum and you're gonna be walking all day long, you're touring Italy, I wish, this is not the bag you would bring with you. You would bring it with you to go out to dinner and for just little jaunts. I do carry it as an everyday bag because for everyday use, I don't find it to be too heavy. But like I said, if we were traveling or this was a bag that was gonna be a full day out and about walking and loading it up with water bottles and so on, this isn't the bag I would bring. I did write down the dimensions of this bag. It's 13 inches across and it's eight inches from top to bottom, and it's a little over five inches in width right here. And so I love the hardware on it. I think it's just stunning. The hardware is amazing. I think it's brass. Um, nothing rubs off on it. It doesn't scuff up. It's kind of like that brushed brass, not shiny, so it doesn't show anything. Um, the zipper is, again, amazing. Like this bag is the size of a Louis Vuitton 30 Speedy. So in the top, as you can see, it's stuffed. I'm gonna take the stuffing out. I always store it stuffed. I don't want anything to like land on top of it or smash it and have it like get a wonky shape. Always has one of these. 
Um, as you can see, the only qualm I have is I wish this opened entirely. So I can open it as wide as the zip zip satchel, but this stops here. So you, it's not, you can't get access as easily, but that's okay. Um, I don't have the matching wallet. It's a little bit expensive. I really want it. I'd love to take advantage of that during the 30% Black Friday sale, but I'm kind of trying not to buy for myself. Maybe I'll ask for it for a gift. And then this is exactly like the other bags, except, no, it is exactly like the other bags. It has the zipper across here, the large pouch, and then it has another pouch here and it's red as you can see on the inside and this is all suede so thick and nice beautiful bag I feel like every woman needs this bag in her collection that's just my own personal opinion I think it's gorgeous okay this next bag I've had for a really long time ever since Judy and Burke came out with this bag they still sell it and it's a little bit pricey it is from the Florentine collection I wrote down what it retails for right now. I did not pay that. It retails for $498, and right now it's 30% off with a sale for Christmas or the holiday sale. So I did get mine at the Outlet Mall, and I think I paid $275 for it, and that was about five years ago. So this is the bag, and it's I didn't stuff it right. I need to stuff this bag like in three different places, but it will puff out and look right once I get some things inside of it. So this has your Florentine leather, and I believe I'll link the color. It's lined with like a raspberry, like on the, it's like dyed, vegetable dyed or whatever on the edges. Has the brushed hardware, which I love. I love this with jeans, such a beautiful bag. So it's got one large main compartment in the middle. This is a, one of the largest bags I own and it doesn't look as large as it is, but I'm gonna show it to you at its largest and then I'll kind of compact it again. So, look at how much this opens again this is a wonderful bag to have like in your car on the bus on the train when you need to get access to stuff sitting next to you um, it extends really wide here and it's lined with that same really nice green suede i used this bag like for all four seasons the first year i got it which is like unheard of for me um and it doesn't really have any wear and tear on it. Um, it has two really large pockets here, one larger than the other. My iPhone 12 Max would still fit there. Lighter interior, which is odd for the time that I got this bag that they were using lighter interior. Super thick. It's got the Cabriolet um, canvas, which Judy and Burke is known for. So when Volkswagen had their cabriolet convertibles, the roof was made of this material and that's what they have inside these bags. So again, it's like the quality cannot be beat. This is the zipper pocket in here. Super thick, nice bag. Um, I don't carry this bag as much as I should anymore, but I still don't ever want to get rid of it because it's such a beautiful bag. Then it's got this pocket in the front and oh a different handbag tag um so it's got that and it's got another pocket here just really tiny lipstick maybe i'm not even sure what's really tiny business cards maybe so if you're a businesswoman you could stack business cards there and quickly give out your card so there's that pocket snaps with a really nice magnet the magnets are amazing Again, another pocket here. And this one doesn't have any interior pockets inside of it, but it's just another really nice pocket. So it's got the three sections. Feet on the bottom, like I said, I carried the heck out of this bag and I didn't even baby it because I knew I didn't have to and it just looks beautiful. So this is the large, 
Florentine Barlow. They do have Barlow bags that are smaller and they don't have the straps like this. They have little handles and they're smaller and they're really beautiful too. I've seen them in person. They're really pretty. One of my girlfriend has, has it in like several colors and I really admire that bag too. But if I were to get another satchel, it would be the Zip Zip in a different color. Um, so this is my large Barlow. It's like a nice tote bag. And these are all my Dooney and Burke bags. And so when I, when I um, store them, I just stuff them with like stuffing that comes with handbags, this kind of stuff. I always save it. And I actually have a box in my basement full of this kind of stuff. And I use it for like everything, wrapping Christmas ornaments at the end of the season to stuffing handbags. But I use these to stuff my handbags. And then Dooney and Burke will always give you a nice case. And so since I have so many handbags from different designers and things like that, I always like to store them in their proper handbag cover so that way I know what I'm looking for in my closet and I try to kind of keep them together. So that's how I store them and how I clean them quickly is if it's something really superficial on one of my um, pebbled leather bags, I just have like unscented baby wipes and I'll just get an unscented baby wipe and kind of go over whatever it is. Um, so my favorite cleanser for handbags that are like Coach, um, my Kate Spade bags, my Dooney and Burke that are pebbled leather like this. I purchase Apple brand leather care. I have the conditioner and the cleanser. Um, I did read on the Dooney and Burke website that if you are cleaning one of their pebbled leather bags, I recommend just using a mild soap in a damp wash rag. But I don't, I don't do that. I'm afraid soap might leave a buildup. So I always use the Apple brand leather cleaner and conditioner. And then I have these white microfiber rags that I get on Amazon. I'll link all this below. I always purchase the white because when I'm cleaning something and I'm using a microfiber rag, I don't want any dye on it because I don't want that to possibly come off onto my bag. Like say I was using turquoise blue and then I go to clean my bag and now I've got, I might get blue on my bag. So I always get white. And I'll just show you quickly. I'll put a little bit of the cleanser. They both look pretty much the same. So I'll just use one and show you what I do. So like if there's something I wanna clean off of my bag or I'm gonna store it for the summer, like I did this one. This one's like in storage through the fall and winter. I go over it before I store it and I just go over the entire bag with the leather cleanser, the Apple brand cleanser and go over the bag and just make sure I'm paying attention to details, getting in like these little areas where we don't think, but a lot of dirt and stuff can accumulate here. Um, make sure it's all out. You know, you can use like, um, I don't know, a little Q-tip or something to get in there if you need to. Um, but I find that this, this is sufficient. Go over the entire bag and then after I kind of make sure it's all wiped off and dry, then I'll use the leather conditioner and condition the leather and then I'll store it. I don't, I usually just kind of clean, I always kind of clean it and condition it together. Um, and I try to do it, like if I'm using this bag every day in the summer, like often I do, I would clean it maybe once a month, you know, just, or if it looks dirty. But other than that, I just make sure I keep it conditioned so the leather doesn't dry out or anything. So that's that. And it does have the Vachetta on it too, or the, um, Florentine leather, and I clean that the same way I clean my Florentine bags, which I will show you. So all these leather bags, Apple cleaner and conditioner, they've all been through it. It doesn't damage my bag. Now I'm gonna show you how I clean my Florentine leather bags. Um, and all my Madewell bags, my fry ham bags, any of my really good leather bags, I use this. And I also clean, like I said, the Florentine leather on my Doonies that are pebbled leather with this as well. Even though you can go ahead and use the Apple leather cleaner on this, it will clean it off and condition it just fine. But I really like to use the leather oil because I feel like it does such a great job of um, moisturizing the leather because you want to moisturize the leather so it doesn't become dry or cracked. And so what I do is get the white microfiber rag and this is the Outer Wax Leather Oil. And some of you get really nervous like when I've talked about this on my other video with my 
Florentine satchel, you don't have to be nervous. I'll show you what it will do and it will look like at first, like, oh my gosh, what did I do to my bag? But it will dry and your bag will look stunning. I'm gonna show you first on this bag. So I just take some of the oil, as you can see, and I just put it on the bag and just go all over the bag. It's a little bit of a process. I'll sit down in the living room and I'll put on a movie and I will go over the entire bag with it, leaving nothing undone. In fact, I go through this stuff because I wanna make sure I've really gotten it all over everything because I want the bag to be really well conditioned. And again, if you have any scuffs or anything on your bag, this one's kinda of hard to scuff. As you can see, I've got nails and I'm scratching it. Um, again, the oils from your fingers will remove it if you just buff it or use your otter wax, leather oil. It's really hard to damage these bags. Um, so that's that bag. You really can't see, like it, it's not scary at all. But let me show you on the other bag. And if you guys are doing this at home, you might think that you'll ruin your bag, but I promise you I've done this at least 10 times on this bag. And I think that's why it's so beautiful. And before I start, I wanna show you that it is like consistently the same color everywhere. Like it looks just really beautiful everywhere. And so it won't damage your bag, but because this is lighter leather and you're putting the oil on it, it will look, it'll look scary at first. So here is the oil on the rag. And I can go ahead and put this directly on my purse. Sometimes I do, and you'll get this big oily spot and you have to kind of work it out, but it won't matter, it won't damage the bag, but I won't do it that way because I don't want to scare you guys. So let's just start right here in the center. I'm gonna put all that oil there and see, like it looks like I just have a big old spot on my bag, like a grease spot and it's gonna ruin the bag, but it won't. I'm gonna go over the entire bag with it like I always do, I'm actually due for this because I wanna switch into this bag and probably carry it through the holidays. I think it's dressy enough to carry through the holidays. Um, I, if we go somewhere dressy, I'll carry one of my like chain strap bags, you know, my bags like, you know, if you ever wanna see <laughs> my, my dressy bags, I'll be happy to show you. But um, I can carry this casual or dressy because it's just such a stunning bag. So I'm just kind of working my way down. And now you can see that big old dark spot here, but starting to dry here. So if you get a bag and you buy it in like eBay and it looks all scuffed up and you're like, oh, I don't know if I want that bag. Ask questions like say, is it like just superficial scuffs? You know, cause some people just don't take care of their bags or they just don't, I mean, I don't mean to say that in a mean way, but they, they don't care about that. They don't care that it has that scuff. So they never work them out. But if you take the time to do it, you'll have a, like a beautiful brand new bag. You know, if you just take the time and work on those scuffs and get them out, you'll you'll see that it's beautiful. I've done that with fry bags. Um, there's like a little something. I don't think you can see a little scuff right there. And all I have to do is kind of, like I said, just buff it and it's gonna come out my bag is gonna be beautiful. The first time I did this, the reason I'm making such a big deal is the first time I did this and I put the oil on the bag, I'm like, oh my gosh, there's a big oil spot on my bag and I was worried that I had ruined the bag, but it will dry, it will all soak in and your bag will just be like soft and beautiful and it will look just like this and get this beautiful patina. I promise you won't ruin your bag. Anyway, I will link the products that I use, my outer oil. Um, I think this is like made for saddles and just really good leather. So any of you who are around that kind of stuff a lot, you know. Um, I'm gonna sit here and talk to you and clean my bag. No, I'm just kidding. This video is really long. <laughs> so anyway, um, this is my Dooney and Burke handbag collection. It's how I store them, how I clean them. And it's like Black Friday deal time. So these bags are now um, like 30% off on the Dooney and Burke site. I hope that this, it still is when I put this video up. I was gonna put this video up 
it's like the day after Thanksgiving today. I was gonna put it up at the end of the week, but I might put it up a little bit early. So if you wanna take advantage of the sale, you can. Um, and check, there's so many other bags that are just absolutely be way. I have a couple more bags coming, not from Dooney and Burke, but it's a new brand of bags that I'd love to see. And the return policy is good at the website. So I'm expecting them soon and I hope to unbox them. I ordered two because they were on sale for Black Friday and I'll probably send one back, but I wanted to share them with you. So watch for that video. And I'm just gonna sit here and work away on my bag. And I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you have a blessed and beautiful day and happy Christmas shopping. May we all get it done and be relaxed and keep the focus on what the holiday season is all about. So um, I'll, I'll see you next time. Thank you for spending some time with me.